Alright, there we go. Hopefully, everything is running wonderfully. <clears throat> Hopefully. Only one can hope, you know? That's all we have in this world, is hope. Until someone comes along and crushes it. Preferably when you're a child. When you're a child, dreams must be crushed. So that you can learn reality. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyways! <laughs> we are back with more Corpse Party. Welcome! One and all. Those out there in the world. More Corpse Party. Oh god. I wish they gave me different... Different icons for the save so I know what the hell I'm doing. That would be... That would be pretty good. You know? Uh... I'm gonna just have to go up the timestamps. 501? 604. Alright. There we go. Here we are. <laughs> that took a dark turn all of a sudden. As is life. One day you're just... You're just chilling at home playing video games. The next, a fucking car comes crashing through your wall. Who knows? Or you can be like those people who had like planes come crashing through their house. That's a real thing that happened. It was crazy. It was part of the news years ago, before I was born. <laughs> Why do I know about it? Because I'm weird. Anyways, <clears throat> we're back with more Corpse Party. I don't even remember what the fuck happened when we last left off. I think off the top of my head, we were still looking for the, like, the spiritual spot. I forgot what the fuck they're called, but, like, basically we gotta find some spots in the school where all the spiritual energy is connected, and then we do some weird hocus-pocus type shit and, you know, dispel some shit, find the center of Nirvana. I sound like a crazy person talking about this shit already. Uh, that's wonderful. Basically, we're doing some spooky shit. I ran around the school for like an hour, not knowing what the hell to do, only to find out that we needed to examine a tree in which we examined it through a cutscene before, which I'm still a little mad over that. I'm talking about you, game. That's a little bit of oversight on your part, you know? Uh, but other than that, still having fun with this game. I think I have the gym key now, right? Yes, that's what my next thing was. Oh yeah, we need the gym key because I think there's like a wooden panel in there we have to get so we can make our way to the pump room. Where we, where we pump it up. Also, my characters are being hit with the darkening pretty badly. Not badly, but it's noticeable. So maybe we might make a stop over to the uh, infirmary. Finally use that, use that one way, uh, that one way? I was about to say one way ticket. Use the, um, what the hell? What's it called? The statue that we have that we haven't used there. I think we haven't used it yet. And hopefully, maybe hopefully, tonight we'll finish this game. I highly doubt it, but, but it seems like we're making, we're making okay progress, not good progress. Okay progress. I don't have a talisman on me, right? Let me see. I have batteries. Oh, I do have a talisman. So if a ghosty boy comes flying at me, just smack that across his face. Um. Okay, yes, this is the first floor. I have to remember like 50 different things in my head. Because right now I'm currently going through Final Fantasy XIV so much that on my, uh, on my TV I have three screens in front of me. It's the... It's the game that I'm playing right now, Corpse Party. My main computer screen, I'm walking to a wall. And then my TV, which is currently playing the intro for Shadowbringers. Because it wasn't too long ago that I just got off the game so that I can play this one. There's a lot for me to do in Final Fantasy XIV. The expansion comes out next month and it's going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, um... Where am I? This is the first floor. Yes. So, I think I want to head to the second floor, because I just want to... grab... I want to I wanna get rid of the darkening that's happening on me right now. Let's see. Have a mini-project possibly due tomorrow, and you think it went way over your head on trying to complete it. Ooh. What does it involve? There's a ghost over here? 
Does this lead to the infirmary? Where's the door to the infirmary? I think that's it right there, right? Come on, ghost, go away. Hopefully it didn't see me. Alright, cool. There's a wooden doll here. It seems to be completely suffused. Suffused? Suffused. With holy power. Cure the darkening. Ah, yes. Interact with the fucking candle. Thank you. Nice to know that, uh... That, uh, course party still has the fresh beats to keep my mind calm. By the way, let me know if the if the game music is too loud because audio mixing in Quartz Party is a pain in the ass. See. Okay. Went from a three generation family wait what? Once a three generation family tree, but there are so many people for me to keep up with. And just for three generations. Ugh. Didn't even start the other half of the tree yet. Oh, God. So what? They want you to check your own family tree? Yikes. Ah. Uh. That was a true scream of terror. It was involuntary. <laughs> okay. Let me just save some of my stamina. And now full sprint, full sprint, full sprint. I should be fine. You definitely didn't see me go in that locker. Uh-oh. Nope. Go away. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, but... Yikes. Spooky season equals genuine screams of terror. <laughs> I'll scream over the smallest shit. Don't ever watch me play Minecraft, right? I'll fucking just lose my mind. Um. Yeah, but. Yikes, I can't. I can't help with any of that family tree stuff, to be honest, because. Because this guy right here. I don't even remember half the names of my aunts and uncles, and I see them at least once every year. <laughs> Like, it's really bad. It's so bad that I forget my own birthday sometimes because I just don't think about it. I barely know my sister's birthdays. I don't know my dad's birthday at all. And I remember the month of my mother's birthday. <laughs> They're used to it. I mean, that's what they get for never celebrating my birthday. So, you know what? Fuck those guys. My birthday never got celebrated. Why should I celebrate yours? See, I had to make the family tree because we're learning how to sign relationships and family. Huh. Okay. Just wanted to go on a mini rant. How the fuck, how the fuck does any teacher expect you, any teacher, let alone anybody, expect you to know three generations within your family if you're, I'm assuming you're probably in your 20s, right? Maybe your teens. Like, how the fuck do they expect you to know that shit? Like, come on, man. <laughs> you yourself, you might be, you might be generation one or two of your own, like, lineage or whatever the fuck, lineage. Not the right word, not the right word. You know, of your own lifespan or whatever. Well, I guess technically, if we're going through that, I guess, eh, I guess you can go like your mom and your, and your, you know, grandma. But I feel like, depending on what the age range there is, fucking... That could just be, like, one generation in itself. I don't know. Especially if you're someone like me, who has a very ghetto family and people be having children at young age, right? It's like, it's all one generation. <laughs> it's open. You ready? I should have found a save point before I did this shit. What's going on in here? It's a big-ass gym room. A lot of space. I feel like I've seen this place before. I haven't. Really? The last time we came here, I don't remember there being a gym. Me neither. Yeah, I guess you're right. So what the hell is this? 
It's a giant white piece of shit. <laughs> uh, they even want us to use pictures and don't even know or or might wait, wait don't even know or met maybe half of your family. Oh god. Yeah, I don't know. If you're looking for pictures, maybe you can ask your parents or your grandparents. They're they're bound to have some like some some ye old non-digital pictures. <laughs> You scroll back the camera, you click it, get that film going, or as people, as people in like other countries like to say, film. It looks like, stop right there. Damn, <laughs> she already knew it. He's like, it looks like a giant piece of shit. Huh? You were going to say something disgusting, weren't you? No. What do you mean? Doesn't it look like soft serve ice cream to you? <laughs> I didn't expect it. Soft serve ice cream to you? It's my sister's favorite food. Oh. So your sister really, really into ice cream then, huh? Way too much. She even eats it in winter. Me? I get cold just watching her. I mean, I eat ice cream in winter. Go fuck yourself. What? <laughs> Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to remember my buttons. There we go. I highly doubt there will be any tripwire in here, so... You know. Kishinoma, look! Up there! <laughs> so my family will now be the Avengers. This is Tony Stark. He was my great-grandpa. <laughs> That has to be where the crystal is. I'll see if I can climb up it. Huh? Climb it? Come on, you gotta be kidding me. That should be my job. What? You don't think I can? I may not look it, but I was an expert tree climber when I was a kid, you know? That's when you were a kid, man. <laughs> and the pillar is really solid, see? So this would be a piece of cake. Ayumi, you're wearing a skirt. It's not a good idea. But don't let that stop you. I mean, you wanna, you wanna prove yourself. Go ahead. Still though, fine. I can give you a boost on my shoulders if you want. Make it easier to get a start. Me on your shoulders? I wasn't sure I liked the idea. My expression made those misgivings blatantly clear to Kishinuma. What's with your face? You just be stepping on my shoulders so you can grab the, so you can reach the ledge. Nothing to it, right? All right. Well, she she kind of just went along with that without a fight. You good? Yep, let's do this. Okay. That's the that's the sound of a physical activity. Oh, do I really got to like walk around in a circle? I don't want to run just in case I have to save my stamina, <laughs> you know? Oh god, this looks like I'm gonna just slide off the side. Oh, fuck. I don't like the way that feels. Got it. I got the crystal. Yes, alright. Come on down. Okay. Yushima looked up at me, but quickly diverted his eyes when he realized he could easily see up my skirt. What a gentleman. Still, nothing from Aiko or Mitsuto, huh? God, I hope Aiko's not dead. <laughs> Last time we saw her, she was running away on fire. I let out a loud shriek, grabbing Kishinuma's attention. Not that it mattered, given our relative, uh, relative positions. What happened? What happened? Mickey Mouse style. Oh. Somebody's been playing a little bit too much One Piece. <laughs> human hands? These are human hands. Inside this pillar? There are a lot of people trapped inside this pillar. Got a little bit of that, uh... 
What's the name of the horror, uh, the horror manga? The horror mangaka. The guy who makes it. He made like, uh, what's it called? Aragame Fault or something like that? I can't remember. Junji Ito. That's his name. Yep. Some Junji Ito shit going on right now. All of a sudden I was surrounded by body parts with hands and strands of hair com comprising. Yeah, comprising the bulk of them. What the fuck? So loud. And then from out of the blue, secondly, Chefu Congo music began blaring from the gym loudspeakers volume up so high and as to oh god, I can't even think. It was almost like an old record playing from a phonograph coupled with the corpses now littering my path. The music was even more unsettling than it would have been to begin with. What? I'm sinking? I was quickly losing my footing as the formerly solid pillar began to break down into a pro porous? Por porous? I don't fucking know. Almost sand-like substance. Shinozaki, get down from there. I'm trying my best. Am I going the right way? Ah! Oh god! It's pulling me in! Can't get too tired. If I get too tired, then... Then I won't make it out. Kishima grabbed onto my arm and tried to pull me from the object. But within its depths, there was a little girl with black eyes, and she was staring right at us. Huh? God, that was loud. The sight was unnerving, but he didn't flinch for long. He continued pulling, desperately trying to free me from becoming part of the pillar's makeup. My fucking eardrums. Jesus fuck. <laughs> I did not expect that. Uh. Guess you were right about the stamina part. Mm hmm. The hell was that? You okay? Yeah, let's get out of here for now. Jesus fuck. God, what the hell? This music is driving me crazy. What? I said it's driving me crazy. Same here. Let's head back into the school. Whoever, whoever made that, whoever did that part of the game is an asshole. And they had fun with that too. I know they did. So, what about the crystal? Were you able to grab it? Yeah, here. This is it. The pillar's crystal. Victory. Victory screech! Back to... Back to the fuckboy crew. <laughs> Alright. Fuckboy crew. Single. It's just about... It's just about fucking Satoshi and like every girl known to mankind just like dripping wet near him for no fucking reason, apparently. I entered the classroom, school bag in hand, and beeline directly for Naomi. From the look of her face, she'd been waiting for me. Morning, Satoshi. Good morning, Naomi. How'd it go? At Shinazaki's, I mean. Not good. Naomi shook her head. I did go, but her parents said she hasn't been home since the day before yesterday. So what now? Something's definitely not right. Her voice quivered. No doubt memories of our time in Heavenly Hosts were resurfacing for her, just as they had been for me. And my news was no better, unfortunately. Same story with, Yo with Yoshiki. According to his neighbor, there hasn't been a single sound coming from his apartment since yesterday, which means he's probably never went home last night. God, I don't want to hear that. I'm sick and tired of this. I don't, I don't want to lose my friends anymore. Naomi had her face completely buried in her hands at this point. Damn it! I think you should know that you, that Yoshiki was really worried about Shinazaki. He said she was in danger, and it had to do with Heavenly Hosts. But that place shouldn't exist anymore. Yoshiki and Shinozaki. What the hell could you guys have possibly gotten yourselves into? And my worries... I, and my worries... 
In my worry, I did what I often do when trying to clear my mind and looked out into the window, staring into the cloudy sky. And suddenly, there it was again. What is that? There was a solid black spherical object hovering in the sky. You see it too, right, Naomi? Yeah, what is it? Mochita! Nakashima! Please refrain from looking outside during school hours. Morning homeroom is about to begin. Fuck you, Mr. Yamazaki. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Yamazaki, entered the classroom with his usual air of authority. Authority. Miss Niwa is out sick today, so third period English will be study hall. Come on, you two. Get back to your seats. What are you doing? What are you doing looking out there, anyways? Mr. Yamazaki, can't you see it too? That black thing. Now, Satoshi. Satoshi, listen here. We do not call people that. <laughs> hmm? What is that? <laughs> Even if the teacher was startled by this, it must, uh, it must be juicy. Wait, what? The teacher sees it? <laughs> Even the teacher was startled by this. It must be juicy. Or so all the other students seem to think as they began to murmur noisily and get up to see for themselves. Whoa. What? What is that? God. That's creepy. It's a natural disaster. All right, who the fuck? <laughs> who in their right mind, when they see something like that, they just scream, It's a natural disaster. You think the big one's coming? Now, now, everybody calm down. Panicking will do us no good. Mr. Yamazaki, I said we end class early. Don't be absurd. If there's an emergency, we'll get called about it. And if that happens and school's dismissed, then you may go. Right now, the best thing to do is return to your seats. And girls, please don't stand on the desk. The boys can see everything. Oh, damn it. Come on, teacher. You're supposed to be on my side. Woo! <laughs> the male students. He's like, yeah! You pervs. Come on, seriously? No man and I looked one another in the eye. <laughs> I can only see her in her one eye. We were both thinking the same thing. Satoshi, I don't like this. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about it myself. This chill in the air is exactly the same as Heavenly Host. In your seats, that means you. After class has ended, we took a trip to the Polonia Academy High School. We needed something to go on, some kind of clue, anything at all, really. So we just started asking around. Eventually, we encountered a girl who was crying profusely about some friends of hers who'd gone missing. They all just disappeared. They all just they disappeared. Can't find my friends. Mio, right? Were you friends with Naho, with Naho Sonoki and Aiko Niwa? Yeah, Sayaka and I were both really close with them, and they always teased us. I'm sorry. The entire time Mio spoke with us, she was trying to rub her tears from her eyes, and each time she attempted it, it made her ponytail twitch. What's going on anyways? Where'd they all go? What's that black thing? Mio? Mio. We do not, we do not call people that. <laughs> We pledge after our escape not to burden others unnecessarily with information about Heavenly Hosts, feeling that most people were simply better off not knowing. If you're looking for info about Naho and the others, then something scary must be going on, right? Well, uh... I don't need any details. I know I wouldn't be able to help even if you told me. But please... Please save them from whatever it is. Too late, they're already dead. She was actually grabbing my shirt now, and the tears were pouring from her eyes all over. Whatever they are, wherever they are, they're probably in a lot of pain. Aiko Niwa, the girl we met at, at, uh, fuck, at Makina. Gotta, gotta get used to saying these names. At Makina Shinazaki's apartment. She seemed calm and confident, even a little full of herself. But somewhere deep down, I felt there was a chick in her, a chick? A chink in her armor. 
Is that a word we're even allowed to say anymore? <laughs> and I think Naomi had felt it too. To be honest, to be honest, even God. <laughs> to be honest, even we're not sure exactly what's going on. But if we figure anything out, we'll make a point to come back and let you know. Mio rubbed her eyes again, her ponytail perking up once more, and looked up at us with big, wet saucers. Out of Oppen... Out of Oppens. Did I really just say that? Out of Oppens. <laughs> out of options, we elected to retry the Sachiko and Ever After ritual. This was our method of ingress and... Ingress? That's a... That's a choice word. <laughs> This was our method of ing uh, da, 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 da. this was our method of ingress to Heavenly Host last time. After all, with the proxy doll in hand and my bag of supplies at the ready, the two of us yanked our arms back as hard as we could, splitting the paper to two so that we each held a piece. It's no use. It really isn't working anymore. Yeah. Looks like the curse of Heavenly Host has been cleared after all. Seems like it. With no Sachiko anymore, the whole school should have been totally destroyed. And I thought a mountain of water and calorie biscuits to- <laughs> I brought a mountain of, wa <laughs> of water and calorie biscuits? Calorie biscuits! Yes! Mmm, good old calorie biscuits. To bring with us. Nondescript item. I patted my bag as if demonstrating to Naomi how much was in it. It should have been fairly obvious, though, as the bag itself was practically busting- Busting? Bursting at the seams. Well, I'm about to bust. Well, I'm sorry, I thought this was the bathroom. Ah, oh, good lord. Helicopters flew overhead, no doubt in response to the mysterious black orb that had appeared in the sky. We watched the flurry of activity above us as we gloomily gloom, eh, gloom left Polonia Academy High School, no closer to any answers than we were before. Glancing over at Naomi, I saw the sour expression on her face and tried to imagine why she didn't want to go back home. And it wasn't hard to think of numerous reasons. Hey Naomi, you gonna stay with Miss Niwa again tonight? Yeah. Okay. Well, you. Well, would you like to stop by my house again first? My mom and Yuka too are, of course, seem to. Uh, I can't read. I lost my. I lost my ability. My mom and Yuka too, of course, seem to really take a liking to you. Are you sure you don't mind? Your expression instantly, measurably brightened. I don't mind at all. In fact, I appreciate it. You could, could stand some cheering. Stand. She can stand some cheering herself. Stand. That's a. That's a way to phrase that. You could can stand some cheering up herself. Thank you. We shift direction slightly and began to relative uh, began the relatively short foot trek to my house. It was an ordinary and rather pleasant walk for a while, until Naomi caught sight of her mother turning the corner up ahead. At the time, I didn't realize that... Uh, realize that's who it was. Alright. I'm gonna cross my fingers, and let's just hope that Naomi's mother is not trying to kill her. She was collapsing the arm of a young man sporting a shaved head in a construction outfit with some sort of insignia embezzled on the back of his uniform. Mom? She was clearly very close to this old man, uh, to this old man, <laughs> I added the word old myself, to this man, cuddling up to him as they walked, pulling his arm into her bosom and even sneaking a few kisses before the pair disappeared down an alleyway. What's wrong, Naomi? It's nothing. Nothing at all. We're out here fighting ghosts and her mom is out there sucking, <laughs> sucking and fucking and doing everything under the sun. <laughs> Way to go, Mom. Her voice had gone up a full octave as she said this. Clearly, something was indeed bothering her, but I had no way to know what it was in the moment, and could only take her at her word. <laughs> Got back from talking about your dad, now you can finish the 30-plus people tree. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, congratulations to Dad for fucking keeping up with that shit. I'm pretty sure if I call my dad, um, uh, my dad, he'll just be like, here's all your family members in Salvador. Good luck. <laughs> we own horses. And her word was, and her word was by all, oh God, I can't even read. Her word by all appearances that everything was fine. 
She more or less closed herself off, outwardly pretending not to have seen a thing. As we drew closer to my house, I love how this whole part of the game right here started with, Oh no, it's fucking the, the infinite Tsukiyomi in the goddamn sky, what do we do? And then now it's back to, la di da li da we're fucking about. <laughs> As we drew closer to my house, we slowly began to see a strange light illuminating the area around it. And that area was different than what it had looked like in the, what it had looked like in the morning, to say the least. There was now a bamboo wall surrounding my home, and most notably, we had we now had a hot spring. Satoshi, I'm gonna need you to do me a solid here. I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up and just roll with it. Can you do that? Huh? What words are there for situations like this? Flummoxed, maybe? This wasn't here this morning. What the hell is is Mochita Springs? Calm down, Satoshi. Let's just go inside and see. Immediately upon opening my front door, however, we were greeted by a sign reading, This Way to the Natural Springs. Huh? The Ministry of Defense plans to issue a statement at 1800 hours regarding the massive black orb that's appeared in the sky over Tokyo. We entered the dressing room only to find Yuka. Naked. FBI will be busting down this door any moment now. Ah, welcome home, big brother, and Naomi. The water's great. Yuka? Yuka was holding a toy goldfish, a towel, and a small beach ball in her hands. What the? What are you doing? It's not the question I should have asked, but... It was, I was too much, I was too much shock. I'm too much in shock, I can't even fucking read. I was too much in shock for my words to come out of my, come out the way I meant them to. And Yuka didn't seem to mind. She just smiled back at me, as joyful as, as I'd ever seen her. Come on, come on, it's amazing. Grabbing one of each of our hands, she slid open the glass door in the back and led us into the Mochita Spring pr proper that we, wait, what? Lead us into the Machita Springs proper that we just been hearing so much about. FBI will be knocking on this door any moment now. Hey, ya bro. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't say that to me. Not in this situation. Gotta say, this is one sweet soak. I, mm, nah, -uh, no way. <laughs> Who? There was another girl asking. Wait, that's a different character? Oh shit, I thought it was Naomi for a moment. She doesn't have the eye patch. There's another girl already soaking in the springs. A young girl around Yuka's age. FBI gonna be fucking banging this door down. Sporting a stylish hairdo. Huh? Don't tell me you never met her before. She's a friend from class. Her name's Suzaki Mitsuhara. Either she's a ghost, or I'm in a different timeline. Nice to meet you, bro. <laughs> now you... Now you be sure to keep your eyes high, okay? I mean, you guys are so short that I'm pretty sure keeping my eyes high is the only thing I can do. Not that I expect you to be too turned on by these raisins of mine. Mm -mm -mm -mm, no way. Get out of here. Boingy, boingy, boing. What the hell? Stop. Stop jiggling them. For the FBI, that's right. It's been nice knowing me. Yeah, uh-huh, this is incriminating evidence, that's for sure. It was official. Nothing made any sense anymore. Uh, what in the hell is going on around here? Hang in there, Satoshi. Naomi, you're supposed to help me in this situation. Naomi, I grabbed a hold of my shoulders as if to keep me upright in case I suddenly decided to faint, which, all things considered, was probably a sensible uh, precaution. Nice to know that the teacher's here. <laughs> At least there's an adult present. Hey, isn't this wonderful? Miss Kuon. It's good for your health. Plus, Sulphur Springs help ward off evil spirits, so it's a win-win. I asked them to have everything built by noon. As if you can see oh as wow. As you can see, they delivered. My company's construction division is quite resourceful. What did you say? 
You fucked up my home and changed it into a springs. Hmm. Remember when I said, time to go back to the adventures of the fuckboy gang? Here's the fuckboy gang. Everyone just, everyone just soaking wet for this character and he does honestly the least out of every other character in this series. How can you do something like this without asking permission first? I pointed my finger at her and accus- and accus- oh god, accus- ac Accusatory? Fuck! <laughs> I want to say accusation and accusatory like together. Accusatory manner. As was the style at the time. Is that a fucking Simpsons reference? As was the style at the time. Okay. I didn't think I would find a Simpson reference in fucking Corpse Party, but okay. Well now, welcome home, Satoshi. And the same to you, Naomi. Mom? Mom, you're supposed to be against this. Oh, thanks for having me. Hope I'm not intruding. <laughs> hey, Satoshi, nice to know you brought a girl home. Now get booty butt naked and hop in the fucking hot springs. Suddenly, I found myself uh, sh sh God damn it, shuddering down to my core as my mom appeared before us wearing nothing but a bath towel. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Mom? Her skin was bright pink and she seemed to be very high spirits. By the looks of things, she was in the spring herself until just moments before we arrived, when she evidently stepped out to the kitchen to get a very large number of beverages. Hmm. If you're going to go back into the house to get drinks, shouldn't you at least wipe yourself down first? You're sopping. I don't want to. I don't want to say that in this situation. You're sopping wet. It's not the only thing that's going on and around here. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, sure. Anyways, everybody grab a drink. That that's a that's a Cosby line right there. That's a. That's, that's a Bill Cosby opener. <laughs> yeah, sure, anyway, it's all fine. Grab a drink. <laughs> yay. Don't you fucking yay this. You're the best, Yuka Mom. Yuka Mom. <laughs> Yuka and Satsuki were also in high spirits. <laughs> and was Miss Kuan. Hey, what do you say we take a group photo? A commemoration of the establishment <laughs> of Mochita Springs. Here, everybody line up. Yeah, just like that. Now say cheese. What the f- What is wrong with people? Cheese! Jesus. Jesus. And everyone's just okay with this. What? I can't even, I can't even say I need an adult because there's an adult right there. <laughs> Naomi and I were forced into a frame as well. Like it or not, we were now a party to this madness. Our eyes were basically pin, uh, pinpricks at this point. None of this seemed even remotely real and neither Naomi nor I had the idea how to react. I took the drink my mom handed me and without even checking what it was, I chugged down a few gulps. I was thirstier than I thought, apparently. From all that sweating you're doing, you're just like, Woo! I need a drink! <laughs> this is an ad placement. I don't even know, like, it's not even an ad placement. I don't know what the fuck's going on. It'll be, it'll be funny if they said, And then I took a drink of a refreshing Pepsi Cola. What the? What flavor is this? That's the flavor of pine salt, baby. <laughs> there was a white thick liquid inside the milk bottle. I'm gonna stop you right there. Uh-uh. <laughs> I was given. It had a faint tint to it when viewed under the right light, but like the flavor, I couldn't quite identify it. This color. Is this fruit flavored milk? What the fuck? <laughs> I turned the bottle to read the label. Apparently, it was Niwa flavor. Uh? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, Satoshi, that's right! <laughs> Miss Kuan, I, 
can't thank you enough for building this lovely hot springs on our property. You're welcome here anytime you like. Here, it's a spare key to the house. Mom, what the fuck? Hey, Satoshi, remember when I said just shut your mouth and roll with it? I take it all back. This is too much, even for me. Oh my, Miss Mochita, I don't know what to say. I have a couple of choice words. <laughs> God. Like, the more they show or talk about the beverage, the more it feels like one. <laughs> Mom! Are you certain it's alright for me to have this? Of course! There wouldn't be a Mochita Springs if it weren't for you, after all. Far as I'm concerned, you got a one-year free pass. Mom! <laughs> no! What are you doing? <laughs> this crazy teacher. That night... I found myself tossing and turning in my futon. I just couldn't get to sleep for the life of me, so I tossed the covers aside and got up. Might as well go for a dip. I gotta go for a dip so I can start my drip drap. Start dripping. This had been the craziest day I could recall in this world. Anyways. After all the commotion had died down and our mini guests had departed, Dad had come home. Dad's in the picture? This is the first time I heard about Satoshi's father. I thought I thought he was just one of those households where it's just like mom, him, and, and sister. Huh. Dad's an active part of the family. Predictably was in the springs right away with the care uh what? Care fair, care, care, fair? care, what the fuck? I don't even know what that word is. He had his favorite sake. He's about to get buzzed. I had a hard time justifying Miss Kuan's arbitrary actions, not to mention my family's utter willingness to accept them, but in the end, I had to admit the hot springs was pretty nice. Satoshi, if you don't marry that teacher, I will. The rest of my family was all still sleeping, so the house was dead silent. I took off my clothes in the dressing room and slid open the glass door, and there, sitting on the edge of the springs, completely uncovered, was Miss Kwan. Oh, God. Mmm. 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 FBI can't take me down for this. It's consensual. My face instantly turned bright red. She was a fairly attractive woman, after all. So, uh. After all, so being alone with her like this... Wait, what? Oh. I fucked up the way that was read. She was a very attractive woman, after all. So being alone with her like this was kind of... Exciting. Though looking at her now, entirely exposed as she was, revealed to me that this shapely woman wasn't quite as shapely as I assumed. Her body was abnormally, worryingly thin. She was the definition of gout. <laughs> She got the gout. <laughs> Eat an apple, damn it. Looking every bit of the part of an infirmed elderly woman from the neck down. And I could have sworn I caught the slightest glint from the corners of her eyes. She didn't seem to notice me, so I was half tempted to slide the door closed and pretend none of this had ever happened. But no, I had to come clean. Miss Kuan? I feel unsafe. <laughs> oh, Satoshi. Despite the fact that I was much younger man and her student no less, she made absolutely no effort to hide her nakedness. Hmm. In fact, she actually seemed a little excited to be seen this way. Hmm. Why are you in our bath at this hour? Sorry, did I wake you? No, that's not what I... Never mind. Where's Naomi? She's sleeping soundly at my home. I call her family again today, and her mother seems to have calmed down quite a bit. That's good to hear. I was legitimately relieved. But I was also having trouble concentrating on the conversation. It took every ounce of my focus I had to avert my eyes from things I knew I shouldn't be staring at. Um, could you cover yourself? Hmm? Oh dear, my apologies. She immediately got up from her spot and dunked herself in the water up to her neck. D 
due to this mineral content that was that was very effective means of at least partially obscuring her body what about you aren't you cold just standing there like that you should get in as well hmm huh I panicked at the realization that I too was completely naked right now <gasps> I didn't know I covered myself with my hands and could feel the- No wonder why she was excited. Fucking her- Her senses started tingling. Jesus. I've covered myself with my hands and could feel the body- The body. The blood rushing to my face, turning me what I- What I was certain must have been an incredibly shade of red. I came here to play a horror game. <laughs> Recovering as best as I could from the embarrassment, I stepped into the water, choosing my spot carefully so uh, so as to put some distance between myself and Miss Koan. Were you crying just now, Miss Koan? Huh? I just had the strange feeling that you were. If not, then I'm sorry to ask such a weird question. Actually, I was pondering, thinking about how nice it would be if time just stopped. And then she fucking, and then she just got up and called her Stan. Tokyo to my Sawado! And the time stopped, and then she fucking steamroller came out of nowhere. Actually, I was pon. Oh yeah, I read that already. Miss <laughs> Kuan, why are you doing all this? Huh? Cause I want to suck that dick, Satoshi. Building a hot springs at a student's house, hiring private bodyguards to do your bidding. None of it makes any sense. It's all just so weird. It makes it hard for me to sleep. Are you asking about those things specifically? Or do you want to know more about who I am? Uh... Both would be nice, I thought. If you're asking about those things specifically, the answer is because I want to protect others. Protect others? From what? And if you're asking about who I, who I am... Didn't I already go over that with you kids as you start at the start of the year? Well, uh... I was previously but a humble civil servant for a certain large corporation, but then worked my way up to CEO and realized I can make my dreams of becoming a teacher a reality. Meanwhile, while this is happening, fucking <laughs> Ayumi and, and Kishinuma are running around screaming their heads off. <laughs> I goes on fire. Jesus. So she's a CEO then. I guess that explains how she's able to afford all this crazy stuff. Does your corporation produce the fruit milk I was drinking earlier too? The label said it was Niwa flavored, which I might add is kind of a... Yes, that's one of our products. I made it for kids like Yuka who can't decide whether they want yogurt, plain milk, fruit milk, or coffee milk. What the fuck? Coffee milk? Is it just coffee with milk? Is that, is that just what it is? Why the hell do you call it coffee milk? <laughs> All right. Now, uh, now they don't have to decide. They can enjoy every flavor at once. How does that work? That sounds like just sugar. Oh, okay. Now, is that enough information to sate your curiosity? I can understand where Miss Kuan's coming from, I guess. I guess, but her approach is just way too haphazard. Her ideas are well intentioned, but go far beyond all notions of good sense. I scratch my head. What's wrong? Huh? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about your curry. That's a weird thing to think about at this time. My curry? Oh, you mean when she fucking, like, chewed the food and said, here, I feed it to you like a mama bird. And then I was like, uh-uh, I'd rather eat that shit myself. <laughs> I missed the ghost route. She might be the ghost route. She just turns into a spirit. <laughs> Go all Ghostbusters on me. Remember Ghostbusters when uh, Dan Aykroyd was getting sucked off by a ghost? That's, that happened. That happened in the movie. <laughs> He got sucked off by a ghost. She seemed genuinely confused. I guess to her, the idea of feeding me pre-chewed curry was just another stroke of brilliance, maybe. Not at all something that might, that might keep a poor high school boy like myself up at night. 
Actually, how old is Mr. Kwan anyways? Satoshi, remember earlier when I said I tucked back the notion of shut the fuck up and just roll with it? Now I want to take back that take back. You shut the fuck up and you just roll with this. I really wanted to know, but couldn't bring myself to ask something so rude of a lady, even if I'm sure she wouldn't have mind. Ew, excuse me, so rude of a lady to ask her age. The more I thought about it, though, the more intrigued I was by this enigma. I began swiftly turning my gaze towards her in short intervals, examining her bodies for clues. Her face had the texture and hue of a woman in her early 20s. But her body was another story. All of her skin was as smooth and beautiful toned as that of her face, but there was so little behind it, ribs fully exposed in every detail. Even down towards her abdomen, I can make out, I can make out round and test, uh, what? Indentations, my bad. <laughs> Where her internal organs were practically jutting out. A little bit too much of a descriptor. There was no muscle, no fat, just skin and bones, literally. It's also the fact, doesn't she all, isn't she also like a pretty strong person? Am I misremembering that? I think there was a moment, like, I think there was a moment earlier in the game where she did something where it's like, God damn it, you're pretty fucking strong. Her proportions just didn't match up with one another. She was like a, she was like a construct built out of spare parts. It felt almost as if this person soaking before me weren't even entirely human. The fuck you laughing at? Miss Kuan suddenly let out a mischievous giggle. Crap, she catch me staring? What is it? I was just reminiscing about my first day as an assistant teacher for your class. I'll never forget it for as long as I live. My memory... Oh, now I remember fucking Satoshi. It was like Satoshi was trying to get out of class or something and she just grabbed his ass and said, No, you sit. <laughs> My memory there was obviously a lot different from hers. Kuaniwa wasn't even part of it. The TA who showed up that day, in my mind, was and always would be Yui Shishido. Yeah, but she's dead now. I can still vividly remember her tipping, uh, tipping? Tripping on the step up to the teacher's desk and tearing her skirt. She had this, she had this hold that, she had to hold the rear of it together with a safety pin for the entire day. And even though we were now living in different reality, our world without Miss Yui, Shinohara, Suzumoto, and Morishigi, we had no memories of the alternate events from this existence. Mm. So they have no memory. They have no memories of the new timeline. Then I, I guess that's what they're talking about. By the way, honestly, who the fuck is missing Morishigi? <laughs> he wasn't that good of a guy. Okay, that escalated. <laughs> I love you. Excuse me? I'm in love, Satoshi. My mind went completely blank. My eyes were swimming in my head and I couldn't even see straight from the heat of the water. I had, I had to have misunderstood her because I just got a love confession and we're both naked in the same bath. With what? Miss Kuan smiled widely, and her cheeks turned a rosy pink hue. Rosy pink? Rosy red hue. But only for a split second, then she was back to looking wit witsful again. Bangs of undue... Uh, what the fuck? Bangs of undue glint and dread began to well up inside of me. I knew, I knew what the next word out of her mouth was going to be. You. Miss Kuan was almost like a mass of innocence as she spoke that single word. Her eyes locked onto mines and froze them solid. I couldn't look away. C come on, stop messing with me. When you're done with your soak, please go straight home, okay? <laughs> Are you very close? Satoshi, way to just fuck it up, bro. <laughs> not even like, not even like, give me a moment. Give me a second to breathe. It's, come on, stop fucking around. When you're done, get the hell out of my house. <laughs> I was dumbfounded. I immediately and very quickly got out of the bath and headed for the dis Oh god. Really? Headed for the dressing room. This was all just too weird. Come on, Satoshi. What the fuck, man? I looked back at Miss Kuan and unsurprisingly, she seemed almost deflated. 
She was looking down at the water in a state of utter deje uh, dejection. Hmm. I turned to face her, still feeling a strange mix of guilt and awkwardness, but allowing the guilt to dominate for a moment. Miss Kuan? I'm not messing with you. After saying this, she closed her eyes and turned bright red, and I was pretty sure it wasn't from the heat. Despite her physique, she seemed like a schoolgirl in the moment. I began to waver in my convictions. I felt like I had to justify—I had to justify not returning her sentiment. But I don't know anything about you. She twitched a little at this. Had I gone too far? I was supposed to know more about her in the reality than I actually did. After the longest few seconds in recent memory, her head drooped and looked of an absolute sadness washed over her face. I'd never seen her like this before. Crap. I didn't mean to hurt her. She had to have known that. But what she did know, and what I couldn't really explain, was that only part of part of this reality for a very, very short time now... Uh, wait, what? I, I fucked up reading that. But what she didn't know, and what I couldn't really explain, was that I'd only been a part of this reality for a very, very short time now. So I genuinely didn't know anything about her. I tried to think of a way to convey this to her, but my mind kept drawing blanks. It was all just too absurd, too fantastical, fantastical, hmm. too impuls uh, impulsible, implausible, fuck. Um, Miss Kuan, I... No, it's alright. I'm sorry to have sprung that on you. Come on, Satoshi, you're a fuck up. She slowly turned her back to me. Part of me was relieved by her acceptance, I guess. But another part of me was still absolutely riddled with guilt. There was a moment of silence, and then Ms. Kuan white waterproof wristwatch broke broke it with a sudden loud beat. Ah. Oh. All the sadness in her expression gave way to surprise at the number on her watch display, which I realized now hadn't changed this whole time, it began counting down. Hmm. Do you have Miss Kuan, are you sick? I felt almost as if I'd been saved by the bell, so to speak, and forced a small laugh, hoping that, hoping that this interruption might help move the topic away from me. Miss Kuan, what kind of watch is that? Is it measuring something? She smiled. It's part of my research. This timer had stopped, but it's on the move again now. A timer? Oh, is this research for your company? It is. There was something about this smile of hers that was strangely haunting. It would come to leave a lasting impression on me. Well, I think it's about time to head home. I took the day off today, but rest assured I'll be back at school tomorrow. See you then. Huh? Miss Kuan? Hmm? I just wanted to say thanks to you. Yomi and Yuka seem a lot happier now. I'm so glad. I think the same can be said for me, Yoshiki and Shinozaki. So thank you. Thank you for healing my friend's wounds in this strange new world. It's what I was trying to convey, and somewhere deep down, I think the sentiment got through. I'm pleased to hear you say that, and I want to thank you as well, Satoshi. With that, she slowly and meticulously waded her way to the edge of the springs. Whoopsie-daisy! At which point, she stepped out of the water directly in front of me. You really need to cover yourself, please. Or don't. I can't stop you. You're an adult. Oh, I'm sorry. And then we're back in the... <laughs> and just like that, we're back in the fucking school. Where's the save point? There's... I gotta find... I gotta find me a save point. Jesus fuck. Oh man, where's the where's the closest save point? That was a lot. Let's see. It would be should be over here somewhere. Probably on the uh <laughs> on the second floor. Jesus fuck. <laughs> ah, glass. Damn it. Way to, way to just kill the fucking mood, game. <laughs> Abruptly just stop. 
everything's getting all hot and heated and now it's like time to time to play the game again <laughs> okay Whew. that was a that was a moment let's see what if the glass had broken bottles of that drink ad placements <laughs> I mean, what ad would there be a broken bottle for, though? I don't think I don't think any uh any company would want their product to be a broken bottle on the ground, unless it was like a a slander campaign, like uh I don't know, like Pepsi's out to destroy fucking uh what what's it called Coke. Or it's Pepsi Man just beating up a Coke bottle. Alright. So now I have... Yes, okay, hold up. Now I have... The... Oh no, I gotta go back in the... I gotta go... Fuck. I gotta go back in the gym. Because even though I got... Even though I got the uh, crystal... I think there's still something in there I need to grab. Which, again, is, if that's the case, then, again, bad, a little bit of bad game design because we just got out of the gym, right? And I would assume that everything, everything we needed, okay, well, now that's gone. Yep, here it is. Plink of wood. Anything else I need to check while I'm here? Wasn't there a podium here before? Hmm. Well, it's gone now. Doors affixed to the wall like a model. Just kind of got to keep my eyes peeled a bit. Make sure that I'm not missing anything, hopefully. What the... F the hell was that noise? Wasn't there... There was a loud crashing noise? Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. <laughs> oh, battery's going out. Alright, now I'm trying to just... Trying to contemplate on whether I should, uh... You know, I should go and save the game. Just in case. Just in case something happens in the room and I and I die and I need to come down so I don't have to run all the way back to the gym. Just to be safe. Alright, there we go. Now let's head on down, check the pump room, now that we have access to it. And how many spots is there? Five, I think? We have honor, justice, victory. Okay, so we have four out of five. Hmm. I think there's five anyways. And so far, we don't know if Aiko is dead or not. We haven't heard from Mitsuto in a long time. And uh, the other girl, which I which name escapes me right now, we haven't seen her at all, even though we know that she is she is in the school somewhere. Probably in like a different space or something. Okay. Alright, catch your breath, girl. Hold up. This gap is way too wide to jump. Loose board. Now keep your eyes peeled. This is the same pool area that we fucked up in in the first game. So let's just... I wonder if this key will work. Let's see. Once somebody's got to download 20 more Avengers for the tree. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot. He gave you a, uh... 
He sends you pictures? Like through through email or something? Okay. That sound. Okay, the pool water should be drained now. Let's check it out. There's some uh, weird freaky tentacles in there. Huh? What the hell is this? The pool water wasn't drained, instead it was frozen. Wow. But how did this happen? Wow. Wow. What the fuck are you doing? God, seriously, just wait for me, damn it. Ayumi, this is the same pool that you fucking almost died in last time. So I think you would be a little bit more cautious. Fucking fell on my ass. Seriously, don't just... Uh, what's wrong? Look! Look what? The center of the frozen pool was lit up with a large pink mass visible beneath the surrounding ice. You just noticed that? It was impossible to tell exactly what this mass was. However, through the cloudiness of the frozen muddy water... What is it? I don't know. A jellyfish? Or an octopus, maybe? Not that it would make any sense. Let's see. No, you're Googling Avengers pictures. Everyone's Avengers. You don't care at this point. Oh, God. It's not a big project. Just one, uh, let's see. One time reference, which makes it, oh, God. Makes it even worse. <laughs> All this work for just a one time thing. Jesus, fuck. It's kind of like when your teacher goes, make sure you bring a three subject binder and you fucking never use it the whole entire semester. I'm telling you, once you get to high school, just walk in with the fucking. With, like, if anyone- if anyone's not in high school yet, but once you get there, just walk in, like, maybe carry your backpack with you everywhere, right? Have a couple of things in there, and then fucking just walk in with a notebook and a pencil, and you're fine. Write everything in that book. That's what I did anyways, and then I fucking pieced out of school. <laughs> Came back at the end of the year, got the highest fucking test grade, and left. Fuck those guys. This is where the charm is, di is directing us, though. See? What the? I got a bad feeling about this. Let's get out of here, Shinazaki. Oh no! Oh god! This is your fault, Shinazaki. Now we're gonna die because you never listen. Shinazaki, can you swim? My feet! I can't. I can't. What was that? Who cares? Just swim over to me. What's wrong? Something touched me. There's something in the water. Okay. It's gonna be alright. Grab onto my shoulders. But don't panic. If you apply too much pressure, we both go down. Okay. God. I'm just glad she learned to swim after almost drowning here before. But she still was like, let me walk. Let me walk on the fucking ice. Fucking hate this pool. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? I'm not getting any closer. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Bursting from the very center of the pool, there was now large pink ten uh, tendrils of flesh flailing about. God damn, it's like something out of a nightmare. Kishima began to tremble at the sight of this bizarre monstrosity. Though it probably had more to do with the fact that we were both being pulled towards the center of the pool by a sudden water current. You gotta be fucking kidding me! So I gotta avoid the center of the pool and also avoid the tendrils? Alright, oh fuck. How do I- How do I- Am I- Am I- Am I playing? Oh. Alright, I'm down here. Just- Just be careful. Just- Uh oh. Just be careful. Just be careful. Just be careful. Just be careful. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, I'm stuck. 
I'm stuck. I can't move. Ah! Shinozaki, where are you? Through the murky water, I only I only saw one fleeting glimpse of Kishinuma, and he saw one fleeting glimpse of me, with tendrils protruding through my chest and pulling me under. I've been completely impaled multiple times in multiple places and died virtually instantly as one of this giant squid razor-like limbs penetrated my heart. Shinozaki! No, please, god damn it all! I got stuck in a corner. <laughs> Let's see. Couldn't even begin to add your cousins, Jesus. His first college year had Professor make us use a book she published for her lab. Oh, God. Oh, no. They hired a fucking professor that was like, I'm going to teach my class, but I'm going to teach it my way. <laughs> Jesus. Barely even opened it or used it. That paid so much for it, yeah. I'm still, I'm still on the notion that college is for suckers. I will stick with that for the rest of my life. At this current moment. <laughs> Look at me. I didn't go to college and I have a PlayStation 5 and a Switch OLED and a computer and three monitors in front of me. To be fair, I do not have my own place, though. So that's a downside. But I can always just work two jobs if I really wanted to. <laughs> Wait, why the fuck am I here? No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. Hold up. Wait a minute. Whoa. Excuse me? Wait a minute. Did I not save any of that? Hold up. Wait a minute. Whoa. Uh-uh. Hold up. Say I go over here. Right? Say I pull, uh... Uh... Click on this. <gasps> Did I just click cancel the whole time? Why is cancel the first option highlighted? No! Son of a bitch! We gotta do that all over again. Holy damn it! Ah, fucking glass! Go fuck yourself! Don't worry. Don't worry. We can speed through this. We can get through this. It's fine. Uh-uh. Corpse party, you fucked me over. We can get through this. I just gotta... What, what's the speed up button? Hold up. Options. Controls. Let's see. What's the speed up button for, uh... For dialogue? Let's see. Confirm next. Up down menu. Open menu. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Interact character. Skip dialogue. R1. Okay, cool. Alright. Fucking glass stage, I will go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh man. No fucking way. Can't believe that just happened. Who the fuck? By default, who highlights cancel at the save options? Come on. Who does that? Thought I was saving my game this whole entire time. Uh, is it at least past the sauna thing? No, that's the problem. It's literally where we started the stream from. <sighs> but don't worry, since we can skip dialogue, it should probably go by relatively fast, because honestly, most of the stream has just been me reading the fucking, uh, reading the goddamn, whatchamacallit, the text. So we just gotta skip some dialogue here and there. Don't worry, we'll be back. We'll be we'll be back in like <laughs> we'll be back in by like five minutes, maybe at most. Unless I fucking die here. 
blooper reel. Get the hell out of here with this. This game's been fucking me over left and right. You're making it. Yeah, I'm making it easy, corpse party. This is definitely something that's gonna have to get edited out of the cut. <laughs> edited out of the fucking YouTube version. Come on. Come on, character, stop walking so slow. Get to where you gotta go. Damn it. I'm so mad about that. Come on. Get on up there. She's getting like super tired already. Jesus fuck. Do some cardio, damn it. Okay, we got the crystal. I love how I just went, yeah, let me save the game just in case I die down there. Didn't save it at all. <laughs> Didn't save it at all. And now the, I'm gonna mute this actually, because the music was pretty fucking loud last time that shit happened. And I don't want to hear it in my ear no more. Oh shit. Where's the, damn it. Yeah, the loud carnival music. It's actually playing right now because I only muted the stream and not my own audio. It's killing me in my ears right now. Bit of a bit of an oversight on my part. You can't hear it, but I sure as hell can right now. And there we go. The sound is back now. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. So loud. And here's where the sauna part starts. And now we just hold down the button. Beautiful. All that reading I did, let's see how fast it goes through. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then we ax the student. Then we saw Naomi's mom getting her freaky on with some guy. And then we made it home. Then the game conspired against me to send the FBI to my house. Satoshi. Satoshi, you are... I do not agree with, with your choices. Miss Kuan is a wonderful woman. You should have accepted her feelings instantly. You should die for that lady. She's giving me a lot of, uh... She's reminding me a lot of Data Live. For very obvious reasons. <laughs> and now we're back. Oh, well, we gotta go back in, actually. Grab that board. Can't forget that. See, it's almost like nothing ever happened. Just gotta let my stamina come back. Alright. Let's go. The only difference right now is that I still have a bit of the darkening on me. So, so if that becomes a problem, 
we can run down to um to the infirmary call upon the powers of the Holy Ghost and get that get that fixed up I still can't get over I still can't get over the what she handed me a milk bottle but what is this this thick white liquid Niwa juice huh what's that about all right Empty slot. Double check. Let's see, main building for. You know what? Just in case. I don't trust you anymore, game. Alright. Uh. I panicked. Literally me, like, shuffling up there was me seeing the goddamn bloody wood in front of me and started panicking. <laughs> I was like, how do I get- how do I get past it? Alright. Now it's almost like nothing ever happened. Really puts into perspective how much of the game we've actually played so far this stream because we're at like the hour and a half mark most of it was reading all right now they go in here and then they they turn the pump for the pool, but it freezes the pool somehow. Come on, get out of there. There we go. Oh no, what's that in the pool? It's a giant hentai. Oh no. Again, Ayumi. <laughs> uh, at least it wasn't so far back. With quick time events and maneuvering past enemies. Yeah, just reading. Fun reading, though. I enjoyed reading it. Now this. I guess I gotta look down and kind of remember what's on the ground? I don't know. I thought my pathway was pretty clear, but I, I ran into, like, a wall. Alright. Okay, I got it this time. Then we sink down to the ground. Okay, there's that. Alright. Let's see if I can... I should be able to navigate myself pretty, pretty good through here. Go on through. Oh, there's a wall. There was a wall there. There we go. Uh-huh, there's another wall. There's a wall. Uh-oh. I got this. Get me the hell out of here. <sighs> the monster's still there. Oh, sh- He grabbed her! Damn, girl, you are having a joyride. Shinazaki, let her go, damn it. What do I do? God damn it. For a moment, all seemed lost. Then all at once, there was a flash, brief shining, and the mistakeable clinch of metal slicing through the meat. And the... Huh! Anime chick came to save me, didn't she? Come on, girl, I gotcha. 
Where the hell are you at? An ear-piercing sound echoed through the entire fenced-in area, and the whole atmosphere suddenly changed. The water reverted to its normal muddy color, with the light rain and the wind subtly, uh, subtly, subtly, uh, su damn it, subtly, uh, etching through usual patterns across the muck. You okay, Shinazaki? What just happened? Shinazaki, you alright? I'm still alive, so I'm fine. Maybe next time you won't fuck around in the pool that we almost died in before, only just to almost die in it again. Could've fooled me. I was clearly not fine, but Kishinuma's nervous laugh had a certain reassuring quality to it. Me too. At the poolside stood a strangely dressed girl, brandishing an enormous scythe. And here she is. Thanks for saving me, I guess. There's nothing fine about either of you. Everything you're doing here is reckless and foolish. I'm here at least learning your lesson. You! Didn't you threaten to kill me the next time you see me? You are... Pleasure to meet you, Ayumi, Shinozaki. My name is Megiri Mizuki. I'm an executive officer, uh, officer in the... God, I still can't say that name. Maratubas? And I just saved your life, luckily enough. I'm also a super, super anime character that really kind of don't fit into this game, <laughs> to be honest. It's like someone threw their OC in here. You're the one who saved us. Thank you. Hmm. Martubas. Are you referring to the secret society that calls themselves Martubas Tomb? I didn't realize it actually existed. So, what's your involvement here? How do you know about us? We're supposed to be a secret society. Well, yeah, Shinozaki's an expert on old legends and stuff. Not much she doesn't really know. Except how to not get her ass killed. Megari glanced at Kishinuma for a moment with an ice-cold <laughs> ice expression. You must really not like me, huh? You groped my boobs, you bastard! Once I kill Misito, you're next. I didn't do it. I had no choice. You don't understand. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't grow up a damn thing. Don't listen to her, Shin Shinozaki. I mean, look, I'm sorry I latched on to you, but I needed to come here in order to protect, pr uh, protect her, no matter what. You're wasting your time protecting someone like her. Fucking tell me about it. What? The hell gives you the right to say that? Megari ignored Kishinuma's question completely and turned her, her attention to me. You were unable to obtain the Book of Shadows here, were you? I was I was assured you had the ability to return Nirvana back into the book, so I've been helping you out from behind the scenes. How so? What? You have? This revelation seemed to instantly calm Kishinuma's rage. I don't have it, but that's because I was tricked. You don't have the book? The means are irrelevant. All I care about is the end. And you failed miserably. You wasted my time. You're completely worthless. Huh? Hmm. So this is one of the crystals of the six demons, isn't it? It's blue. So that would make it the Sephiroth of Mercy. Mercy. So, you want to know who I am, don't you? Yeah? Well, then, once again, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm your enemy. Magari took the glowing stone and attached it to her necklace. Huh? Hey! If you keep on following that fucking... That fucking Misato's orders, make sure you're prepared to die. I'll be taking this. Wait! You see all those red letters everywhere? You have no idea just how big a curse curse you're messing with here. So don't stir up the Nirvana any more than you already have. Curse? What are you talking about? Please, give it back. And then she animated away. That bitch. This is really bad. What do we do now? 
whatever we do, we have to catch her, or we can't get home, Shinozaki. Stay indoors. I'll be back. W wait Kishinuma, I'm going with you. Pretty dumb, pretty dumb move to leave her by herself. Oh god, he did leave her by herself. Come on, Kishinuma. That's stupid, even for you. Now let me just, let me just make sure that it's saved. Uh-huh, okay, second wing hallway, cool. Ran out of Avengers heroes? Try the, try a, try the Dark Avengers, right? It's like Cyclops and all of them. People won't notice the difference. They'll be like, yeah, X-Men, they're part of it. I haven't seen any trance of Aiko or Misto either. Trance? Did I just say trance? Trace. That is a bloody door. That door really scares me. Time to go inside of it. That is a noise that I don't like. Is that the guy with the axe? Yep, I wonder what happened to him. It was the enormous man I've seen before passing out when I first arrived here in the new Heavenly Host. The giant who stood before me wore a steel helmet and was splattered with blood all over his face. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. <laughs> he swung his giant axe at me. His blade alone was easily the uh, yeah. wow, I just had a stroke. Was easily literally. <laughs> it was easily the side of a human body. <laughs> Yikes. I dodged a swing, but the floor of the school uh, where it struck was utterly destroyed on impact. If that thing had hit me, I had been no I would have had no chance of survival. Run away, survive the attack for 60 seconds. That's my goal? That's my goal. Ah, oh, shit! I'm going! There's two of them! Ah! <sighs> 60 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, there's three of them! Did you hit me during a cutscene? Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> 60 seconds! Come on! It's just like Call of Duty Zombies, baby. Run that train! Can I go now? The door's affixed to the wall, but it's open! Come on. This is the longest fucking 60 seconds I ever had to live through. What the fuck? He's stuck against the wall. 60 seconds. Hello. What the fuck was that? What's happening? Kishinuma, where are you? I hate this. Oh, it's Misato. Go fuck yourself. Hard at work, huh? I can't take this anymore. I got separated from my friend, and all I want to do is go home. Man, your endurance is shit, isn't it? Yes, that's true. That's why I run out of breath so fast when I have to run for my life. You don't have to talk to me like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. There are only two pillars left, right? Each time you break the seal off of one of them, I can feel it. I can feel Nirvana's energy wavering. That's why I know you're hard at work and doing your best. And suddenly, and sudden, oh God. A sudden and unambiguously genuine compliment like that from Misito of all people, reassured me more than it probably should have. I began to get misty-eyed. One of them was taken by a girl named Miragi. I keep calling her Miragi. That's not her name. Magari. Magari 
Mizuki? Huh. Things haven't been going as as planned for her, so I bet she's pissed as hell right now. I wouldn't worry too much though, she's after the same thing we are. So she'll show up again to try and get the other crystals. And then when she does, we can nab the other one she took. Oh, okay. Sounds easy enough. So, just keep on going, I guess. I'm in what looks to be the core of the school, so I'm going to do a little digging of my own. Trust me, we'll find each other. And when we do, we'll get the hell out of here together. Alright, I'll do the best I can. That's a good girl. Yeah, it's a good girl. Go fuck yourself. Except Misto was actually talking to me from back home, because he's a piece of shit and I knew he was. He was standing on top of the jungle gym during the entire conversation, to be exact. He was letting me do the dirty work while he used after Ever After to jump back to the real world on his own. There's no way I could have known that, though. I resolved to just... <clears throat> I resolved to just soldier onward and unlock the remaining pillars, truly believing that Mitsuto would swoop in and save me in the end. We'll fight our way back to reality together, Ayumi. As he stared intently at the black spear in the sky, a creepy smile... Smile? Smile? Did I just say that? A creepy smile spread across Misito's lips. And in his hand, he held a thick, black, hard-bound tome that bore a striking resemblance to the Book of Shadows. <laughs> Who would have guessed the old man's manuscript could come in handy in a place like this? If there's no Book of Shadows in there, I'll just have to make my own. Chapter 4, Pillars of the Six Demons to be continued. New Encyclopedia Obscura entries have been unlocked. Strawberry milk bun, cell phone. Cause I didn't know what those two things were before. The pool. <laughs> Extra chapter three has been unlocked. Would you like to save your system data? Uh, of course I would. I also got a achievement called the uncanceling. Uncanceling, uncounseling. Continue. Oh, not continue. New chapter. Chapter 5. Chapter 4 was pretty fucking long, I'll tell you that for sure. Let's see. I have time to start chapter 5. Breakdown. More and more changes were now occur- Oh god, that's going way too fast. For the last few days, world's been beginning to take notice of fear- <laughs> Huh? Okay, guess I'm watching a cutscene. What am I watching? Do something. Oh, what? Nani? Is he gonna kill himself? Is he live streaming his death? What's going on? Okay. Up, oh, yep. Dude's live streaming his death. Yikes. Huh? And who is that? Lojin wa depart no okujo de hamono mochi, o sawagi Yikes. This might be an effect of, uh, 
the orb in the sky. Is that... is that Sachi? She's making people kill themselves. As the Pillars of Six Demons were released, the Nirvana had began spilling out into reality. God damn it, I can't read it that fast. You okay, Miss Kuan? All the color has drained from her face as she intently and somewhat incredi incredi uh, incredulous I can't read the fucking word. Incredulous. Mm. She watched the new broadcast unfold on her TV. Something's wrong. Miss Kuan shook her head as if trying to fling an unease from her body. When that didn't work, she put a palm to her temple, just as one might do when suffering from an intense headache. Are you all right, ma'am? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. She seemed to realize how this, how this must have looked to her subordinates, so she straightened her posture and sat back down in her chair. It's just for the last several days, there's been more and more reports of ghost sightings and unexplained deaths. And yesterday, those numbers peaked. She tried changing the channel, but everyone featured the same story. Today's testimonials from eyewitness are spirits behind these attacks. The newsroom on TV seemed to be in a panic. Today's report seemed centered around Isabel Station, originating from this residential home, this apartment building, and this office building, Mr. M Mina Minaya? Are you getting this? Yes, I see a map with the locations of each incident clearly marked. Thank you. The map displayed on the television included several Tokyo wards, and there were a good 50 or so red dots scattered throughout. Red was definitely the predominant, uh, predominant color. The caption displayed above this was sites of bizarre and unexplained deaths. It's displayed so clearly for all to see. The awareness is spreading. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that the more people are aware of ghostly shit, the stronger Sachi's gonna get. Please, you must uncover eyes whereabouts as soon as possible. Understood. He probably left the office to begin his search. Ms. Kuan, on the other hand, remind, remained, oh God, remind, <laughs> remained behind and sit inside, oh God, I can't read, inside as the news report continued. The Chief's Cabinet Secretary is investigating the matter with due diligence, but the people in the affected areas are growing understandably impatient, anxious for a speedy resolution. This really is reaching epidemic levels. How are things out on the streets? Out here, exorcism goods like these have been absolutely flying off the shelves as residents try to take matters in their own hands. Mom was watching the same story on the same channel, nervously nibbling rice crackers the whole time. I'm sorry, did you say exorcism? That's right. Many talismans, talisman stickers, and exorcism crystals are just a few of the hot new items being sold at convenience stores and hardware stores throughout the area. The numbers they're moving are hard to believe for a, for a modern first world country like ours, and demand is much higher than supply. Get your hands on one of these is not easy. Almost like a PS5. <laughs> it brings to mind for the reporter the food and water shortages are often seen in times of, wow. It brings to mind for this reporter, the food and water shortages one often sees in time of natural disaster. Interesting. Do these products actually work ad as advertised? And moreover, isn't it true that the strange nature of these incidents does not necessarily implica implicate them as supernatural? That's correct. It may simply be a case of fear and anxiety clouding good judgment. There's, there has been an account, however, from an eyewitness who claims to have seen a long-haired female spirit in his window who screamed and vanished upon seeing one of these talismans. And there have been another, there have been other similar stories told throughout these neighborhoods and side streets over the past few days. The city is currently mired in wide-scale ghost fever. I see. It's interesting to note, too, that the first distributor to recognize the phenomenon and began supplying exorcism goods to the local store was, um, according to the logo on the products here, PL Promotions Co. Incorporated. This company is known for distributing a wide variety of products as, as a god, at reasonable prices. Everything from healthy food to energetic imprint sur surge water. What the fuck? Energetically imprinted surge water. Okay, goop. I got it. Oh, 
Isn't that Miss Kuan's company? My mom seemed a little surprised by this, though I can't imagine why, given all the improbable and very exp and very expensive things Miss Kuan had done for her. Even as this com even as their competitor price gauge with fight wait what? Even as their competitor's price gauge gouge price gouge fuck gauge. I thought it was an A. Even as their competitors price gouge with 50,000 yen bottled water and such, the price tag on PL's good remained the same, which has quickly made them very popular with consumers. Next, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the Tokyo Aerial Sphere issue. We just received new information. According to, the, according to the Ministry of Defense, the giant black orb that appeared in our skies have a few properties that ensure its presence will remain a mystery for some time. A magnetic field surrounding it, 500 meters in diameter, affecting all, measure, all measuring devices and aircrafts in range. This means helicopters and planes cannot safely approach the object. One airplane pilot who attempted to, to who attempted it claimed that a member of his crew instantly went berserk, and they drew near several. Dis, uh, what? And as they drew near, several disputing, uh, severely disputing the craft's operations. Disputing. Why did I say disputing? Disrupting. This is this is the part of the stream where my brain starts to just go away. It would seem that this so-called aerial sphere is not about to give up its secret so easily. And we still have no idea where Shinazaki is. Damn. It's hard to believe the number of missing persons could go up that much in such a short period of time. <laughs> no judge here. <laughs> Don't worry, judge all you want. I'm used to it. There are so many... There are so many... Th oh, God. The moment I said that, just lost my place in reading. There are so many that the police don't have enough manpower to handle them all. What the hell's going on? Finally finished the tree. I also have no brain right now. <laughs> My brain went away super early today because, like I said, I was just hitting trees. Hitting trees and fucking Final Fantasy fourteen, Just just leveling up by smacking trees with an axe and nothing else. Class rep's, uh, class rep's mom was beside herself with worry. I imagine she would be. We need to find her, and fast. Hey, Kishinuma lives on his own, right? Do you know his family at all? Maybe we should get in touch with them. Yeah, I thought about that, but I don't know any phone numbers other than his. He doesn't talk about his family very much. I tried looking them up in a phone book, but no luck. Oh. At this point, I think the only option left is to ask Miss Kuan if she led us into Aiko, to Aiko Neo's apartment. Yeah, I hate asking something like that of a teacher, but I think you're right. Satoshi, in your position, you can ask fucking anything you want. I'm sure she won't mind if we let her keep an eye on us while we're in there, but the problem is... Hmm? Ever since she built the hot spring at my house, I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Yeah, she gave me a key to her place, but I haven't seen her since then either. I guess she's been busy at work. The number you dialed is not available at this time. The carrier is presently outside the service area or the phone power has been switched off. Please try again later. No use. It won't connect. Well, it's getting late. Do you want to head back, Satoshi? What's wrong? What the fuck? Naomi, let's go. Yeah. Not this way, though. Let's head back. We're leaving now. Oh, what the? Oh, uh, that's not good. Hmm. It's the middle of the day. What the hell are you guys doing here? What are we looking at? I don't know. Just stay close to me. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Are you, you gotta be kidding me. Human cruelty never changes. What the fuck? 
It's in our nature, you ignorant fools. The stairs. Let's just charge through these shadows. Oh, you gotta be insane. Don't do that. S Satoshi? We don't have any other choice. Come on, Naomi. You dare harass me? Huh? Miss Kuan! You came to my rescue. Miss Kuan. Are you two all right? You hurt? I'm doing fine. Gotta go to sleep. Good night. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. As always. <laughs> yeah, um, but the next stream, if, you know, you can make it, it's gonna be, uh, on the East Coast, it's gonna be like around 11 or 12 in the afternoon. And if not, then probably like 1 o'clock or something, I don't know. But around those times, continuing more, uh, whatchamacallit, Vampire, Masquerade, Bloodlines, doing that. That's later today. No, we're, uh, we're fine. Thank goodness. Satoshi Nakashima, I've learned the whereabouts of I, Kishinuma, and Shinozaki. What? The Black Spear loomed menacingly in the sky above us, and just behind it, the moon which appeared unnaturally large. Heavenly Host Elementary, Nirvana. A strong wind began to blow through the city. Dry leaves and various bits of refuse were dancing through the air. It was the same sort of feeling you get when a hurricane is approaching. And I was planning to go out into it, which seemed to be worrying Yuka to no end. Where are you going, big brother? Oh, I got homework to do, so, uh... She clearly saw right through me as she stared deeply into my eyes. It was like she was staring directly into my soul where everything was laid bare. I felt like none of my secrets were safe. She could use them. She can see them all plain as day. Does this have something to do with Heavenly Host? Plain as day indeed. Everything's fine. Just promise me you won't go outside, okay? Everything's fine. It's hard to keep a straight face with a line like that. It didn't matter if it was true or not, though. My goal here was just to say what she wanted to hear, to comfort her. And I fucking failed. But contrary to the gold, she just suddenly began to cry. Crap. You always had a better sixth sense than I did. Whenever something was bothering me, Yuka would always cry and attach and attract attention to on my behalf. Oh dear, what's wrong, Yuka? Satoshi? I have to go to Yoshiki's place for a bit. I'll be back soon. What? Now? Would it be a bother to go see him this late at night? It can wait until tomorrow, can it? I glanced at the clock. It was almost exactly nine. Well, it's kind of an emergency, so you don't need to cry, Yuka. I'll be just fine, okay? Mom hugged Yuka from behind. Yuka, your brother's going out for a little, so how about you and I have ourselves some ice cream? Okay. Pat Yuka's head. She stopped crying thanks to Mom's masterful coaxing. I'll be back in no time. I returned to my room, grabbed my large bag, and then was out the door. I arrived at the meeting spot, fully equipped and ready for the road ahead. As ready as one can be anyways. Miss Kuan, Naomi, sorry to keep you waiting. Even as she was wiped even as she was wiped by the powerful winds Wait, wiped? Yeah. Even as she was wiped by the powerful winds all around us, the look in Naomi's face was stole 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 it? Stole it. I think that's a typo? <laughs> I don't think that's a word. I'm gonna say solid. <laughs> she seemed to be in a complete funk. Your mama can't stop the funk. What's wrong, Naomi? Damn it, maybe I didn't think this through enough. Even if she did have to prepare, I shouldn't have sent her back home. 
Unfortunately, her somber expression quickly gave away to a smile and a slight giggle. Can't be serious. What is that? Can you even... Wait, what? Can you even move with the giant pa uh, backpack on? Well, it's Heavenly Host, you know? I didn't think any more explanations than that was needed. We had to be ready for literally anything. Good. She's in better spirits than I thought. I laughed with her for a moment. I had my company investigate this for me some time now. The research has finally yeeted, yeeted? Did I just say? <laughs> research has finally yeeted. <laughs> research has finally yielded results. It's the influence of the other reality that caused the spiritual presence in this world to begin casting their shadows from above. Ms. Kuan then produced her own set of Ever After Stones. Ooh, fancy. Though they were back, though they were black in color and noticeably larger than the ones Aiko had showed to Yoshiki and Shinazaki, she manufactured her own. They also had various mechanical parts attached to them, including some sort of charge meter that extended across the length of each stone. We used the leftover stone fragments from the red box I picked up at the Shinazaki residence to construct these amp to construct these, amplifying their energy with our own spiritual tools. Functionally, they're the same spirit items I use for traveling to Heavenly Host. So we can use them to get there ourselves? Yes, but since these are man-made, and in a rush no less, they'll need to recharge after each use. Which means we can't rely on them for continued travel. But when I think of her, lost in the halls of Heavenly Host, I just want to do whatever I can to save her. She must have lost her stones after she got there, though who knows what manner of horrifying circumstances. And now, alone and crying, and able to get back home. Of course, I need to save Kishinuma and Shinozaki as well, and honestly, I should be go I should be going in alone. With this mission being as dangerous as it is. Heavenly Host Elementary is a place where we lost a lot of our dearest friends. So, if it really does exist, and Shinozaki or Yoshiki still has some kind of sword to settle there, then we have to go with you and put an end to this whole mess. Hang in there, guys. We're coming. Please be alive. You two? What's with this aura? No, I shouldn't ask. Even if you gave me an honest answer, there's likely nothing I could do to help you. With this statement, Miss Kuan forced a smile. Miss Kuan. Will you lend me your strength, Satoshi, Nagashima? Let's do this. We'll save them all. Yeah. Please, God above. Please don't let me be too late. Mom, to be fair that the coming expedition, Naomi had returned home, racing for the worse, only to find that her mother wasn't there. There was only a note in the living room. Yikes. Her mom just left her. Yikes, her mom just said, I'm fucking gone. Alright, Naomi, get up. Naomi? Hey. Satoshi? We're here. No doubt about it, this is Emily Host for sure, though it feels a little different than last time. Yeah, it does. Like the walls and floors. Are all slimy in spots. It's pretty unnerving. No kidding. Naomi, Miss Kuan's not here. Where'd she go? Ah, oh, shit. We got separated. What do we do? We have to find her. Maybe she was sent somewhere else, like when we came here before. That's true, but it's so dark in here. Hold on just a sec. Alright, here we go. <laughs> he brought a big-ass flashlight. <laughs> That's really big. Uh-huh. What's your point? Sure makes finding your way around in the dark a lot easier, doesn't it? It's not that weird to think of. To, uh, it's not that weird to think to have brought, you know? I, know? I love how Naomi thought the same thing. I'm like, that's kind of a big flashlight. She's like, that's really big. 
actually found your prepare your prepared oh god your preparedness to be kind of cute huh what wait no i didn't mean it like that come on let's go look for miss kuan stop trying to fuck me in the creepy school whenever i'm with satoshi i feel like i can truly be myself i hope he'll always be by my side well too bad because i'm going after the teacher <laughs> Huh, I guess I'm in the second wing? Does that mean the ghost is over here, like before? Go through, Naomi. Hmm. Alright, doesn't seem like anything important over here. Can't believe Heavenly Host has still still been standing this whole time. Me neither. I thought Sachiko had been released from it, but I guess not. Miss Kuan? Hey, Miss Kuan! Don't go through that door. Hey, Miss Ku Miss Kuan! I know you see the flashlight. Stop fucking ignoring me. something on the floor. Bandage. Nice. Guess I'm gonna have to make my way around then. Uh, let me just see if... Ha! Candle! Huzzah! Whew! Alright, what time is it? Been streaming for about two hours? Mm. Do I have enough time? I should have enough time, right? To fuck around? Yeah, we should have we should have enough time. We're fine. We're totally fine. Let's keep going. Got a couple of minutes left. See how far we can push this. Just gotta make our way upstairs. It's a trip wire over here. I haven't seen any ghosties so far. That's a good sign. This is knocked over. Trip wire over here. Oh, even without the flashlight, I would still be able to see that one. I find it interesting that, for the most part, it doesn't seem like any character has been whisked away to, like, a different area, you know? Like, usually... Like, in the, uh, first game, you would be, like, in a different, like... A different, like, little pocket dimension, I guess I can call it. But... It seems like everyone's been directed towards the same school buildings. So that means Aiko's around here somewhere, too. And she's probably dead. <laughs> and I hope she's not, because I actually really liked her. Alright. Alright, Miss Kuan, I'm here. Miss Kuan! Satoshi, Nakashima, the good next two are alright. Same to you. There's no mistaking it, this is definitely Heavenly House Elementary. I see. Well, have no fear. Have no fear, for I shall protect you. You two, with, very, with every last ounce of my strength. Every one of my students in my charge is dear to me. After all, you're like my own children. Except for Satoshi, because she wants to fuck that one. Let's find Kishinuma, Shinazaki, and I, and get the hell out of here. Hmm? Is something the matter? No, it's nothing. 
Naomi, what's going on? Are you telling me that she's a ghost? Naomi, you saw it too, didn't you? A little bit of Miss Yui and Miss Kuan? Huh. Are you telling me that... I guess that means that she's our new timeline's version of Miss Yui, then. Maybe. This is beyond even my wildest imagination. The Nirvana itself, expanding due to the evil presence of some kind of... Uh, of some kind. I need to stop it for now, before it grows out of control. Ms. Kwan quietly reaffirmed her, uh, her own hidden agenda. Yay, we can play as her now! Whee! That'll be fun. So what's going on in here? Oh, tripwire. Hmm. There's an item over here. Advantage. could possibly be upstairs. I don't think there's anything upstairs. Right? There's just like a wall that's kind of blocked off. And where was... Where was, um... I'm trying to remember where the hell uh, Ayumi was. Actually, she was in this area around here, right? When we were playing as her? Her hair just freaked the fuck out. That was cool. Miss Kuan, over there. Uh-oh. That's not good. It's a person. Clapress? Kish Kishinuma? Hey, say something. Could be Yoshiki. Or any of our other friends. Hey, over here. Let's go. Wait, Satoshi. Miss Kuan? I can't. I'm not sure... I'm not so sure I can go on. Huh? Oh God! Miss Kuan. Miss Kuan, are you okay? I'm fine. Sorry, that wasn't something a student should see. Come on, don't worry about that. You need to stop pushing yourself so hard, Miss Kuan. Is there something nearby, Miss Kuan? Shinazaki would often say that when a spirit crosses our path. Chill runs through her body that makes her stomach feel like it's imploding. Oh, shit. Unbeknownst to either me or Naomi, there was something nearby, standing right between us, in fact. It was Sachi, and only Miss Kuan was aware of her- aware? Was aware of her presence. This sudden appearance froze her in place for a moment. Naturally, Naomi and I had no reaction, since neither of us could see the spirit. Goosebumps suddenly sprouted all over her body. She would later describe it as her pores opening and letting the air and chilling her to the bone. She wanted to scream and cry and run away to safety, but she knew that would only lead to a very bad end, so instead she forced herself, barely, to keep a cool head. I'm fine. If the channels aren't aligned, she can't do anything. She can't do any harm. Huh? We should continue the search. But do be careful, you two. Evil spirits tend to play tricks on the living. Okay. Now, Miss Kuan took a step forward and Sachi, and Sachi looked up at her with jet black eyes. Let's go. <laughs> Sachi's like, motherfucker. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Huh. What's going back in the real world? Um... In the midst of a stormy weather, Yuka and, and Tsutsuki finally arrived at... Huh... God... Satsuki, not Tsutsuki, my bad. Finally arrived at uh, Kisaragi Academy, only to find a locked school gate accompanied by the sign reading, Notice, Temporary Closure. I thought school might be closed today. Oh. Is she taller than Yuka? I guess. At least give us a call. Sheesh. 
god, I, I already instantly my mind just forgot how to pronounce the name of the goddamn school. Kisaragi. Kisaragi really sucks the big one when it comes to giving us crucial information. Did anything like this ever happen to you in your old school, Satsuki? Nah, we had a way better communication network. Hmm. Yo, Nukes. Since we're so close, can I hop over to your place for a bit? What? But aren't your mom and dad gonna be worried if you're not home soon? Oh, hell no! Not a chance! They're pretty hands-off when it comes to parenting. Or maybe they've just been giving, giving up on me. That's a lost cause. You keep saying that. Hey, you Yuka. Are you Yuka? Hmm? Yeah, that's right. But who are you? Yeah, who the hell are you? You pedo. FBI be knocking at this door any moment now. <laughs> what do you want with Yukes? Your big brother's gone the Heavenly Host. What? But big brother said he was going to Yoshiki's house. When he didn't come home, I just assumed he slept over. That was a lie to keep you safe, but he's in real danger right now. His life is on the line. You want to save him? Can't possibly believe that nonsense, Yuke. Nothing he says making any sense. Hmm? Uh, I want to save him. Aw, oh, don't tell me you're sending her. Yukes? Good girl. Guess that aura is the real deal. Must be because you came in contact with Sachiko Shinazaki. Anyways, come on. We gotta get to Heavenly Host. Yo, Yukes. This pedo Parker dude is like such an obvious creeper. And everything he's telling you is totally cucko. Gotta know, you gotta know that it's all a bunch of garbage, right? I'm sorry, Satsuki. But I know that this per I know what this person's talking about. He knows about Heavenly Host and about Sachiko. So I don't think it's garbage. Hmm, you're a clever one. Huh? Yukes. Fine, you're going, then I'm going too. You think I care? Just know that you hold no interest to in me. So if you get lost in Nirvana, I'm not gonna come looking for you. Whatever you say, dude. You do anything funny to Yukes, though, and I'll be the first to bite. I hope you remember what you said later. You'll be eating those words. Huh. <laughs> Shit. The hell did Magiri disappear to? I thought I saw her head pop up around here for a sec. Damn. This is some real, like... <laughs> everybody's doing some real stupid shit. <laughs> did that save? Did that overwrite? Did that work? Wait, what? Did that not work? Wait, what? It did work. Okay, cool. <laughs> Damn. Alright. I keep looking over at the clock to see how much time I actually have to record. Ooh, I can move the flashlight like this. I didn't know that. Look at that. Is that... Is that entertaining? Isn't that cool? What the hell's wrong with me? I gotta get back. I'm really worried about Shinozaki, but I can't just let that bitch go. So what do I do? Welcome back. Who's welcoming me back? Huh? Who's doing it? Who's there? Is there someone there? Welcome back, Ran. Ran. Ron? What? Whoa. What the fuck? Who are you? Who is this? I feel like I've seen her somewhere before. But no, I can't place her. Uh, an atomical model? Jesus fuck. Damn it, not this guy. What the fuck is going on? Oh! Let go of me, you bastard! Night, night, night. The blood curdling scream she held me down and began pummeling me something fierce. Then as if beating me wasn't enough, she began to strangle me. Damn girl, I'm into some kinky shit, but this is not the way to go. Huh? Shit. 
Press confirm button repeatedly to shake her off. Get the fuck off me! And now you're here too. Great. What do I do now? You get the fuck out of here. I have no idea who this person is. I got no time for this. Oh, okay. Holy crap, that was close. I really don't have time to be playing around with you guys. What's up with these monsters? I never find Magiri like this. And if those freaks are wandering the hallways, Shinazaki could be in real trouble. I gotta go check on her. I don't even know where she's at. Ah! Huh? Why are you so fucking fast? Oh! Oh! Why are both of you so goddamn speedy? hell is the hallway? I made- I definitely made a wrong turn. Fucking glass! Ow! <laughs> and then they just beat my ass. I don't even get like a description of them killing me. It's- and then they whipped your ass. What the hell was that about? <laughs> I don't even know who the hell that character is. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. I definitely made a wrong turn. I thought the uh, turn to the... to the area I wanted to go to was... Uh, was, um, whatchamacallit... Gotta run to the other side. Come on. Oh, fuck off. Somebody help! Satoshi! Miss Kuan, where the fuck are you guys? You're supposed to be around here. Ow! Did that kill me? Jesus, are you s What the hell? That's difficult. <laughs> All right, let's give it a uh, let's give it another go. I just wish I didn't have to watch all this cutscene shit going on. Hmm. Where would I go to outrun these guys? I don't think I can. Do I have to just? Can I hide from them? Is it possible for me to hide from them? They kind of run pretty fucking fast. I'm gonna try hiding in the closet, see if that works. Again, I have no idea what the fuck this character is. Get 
the hell off me. Alright. Come on. God, don't even... <laughs> Do they ever give up? I should try hiding. Well, turn off your fucking light. I don't think that's gonna work. Crap. Oh, she's sniffing for me. Nope, there's no way she can possibly be able to sniff me out, can she? Sir Knight? Sir Knight? You there? Aren't you? Won't you come out? The hell is she talking about? Who does she think I am? Won't you please help me? My body's been taken over by a demon. I'm being controlled against my will. There was definitely a part of me that was ready to believe her. Please, I beg of you, come out! You're right, fat chance. I covered my ears and closed my eyes. Unsurprisingly, everything got real quiet. But it stayed that way even after I lowered my arms. As far as I could tell, the presence was gone. Huh? Is she really gone? I am fucked. The hell? You guys are assholes! The anatomical model seemed to have lifted the entire cabinet and chucked it to the ground, ejecting me from the- ejecting me from it and leaving me exposed. Damn! Where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh shit! Fuck off, guys! The rain's coming down hard. Oh, I'm running out of... Running out of fucking stamina. Oh, no. Ah, fuck! Jesus, I just got in the room! Where do I go? Where do I go? Mm. <sighs> yep, I'm dead. There's not much I can really do. Jeez. Huh. Thought I'd be able to run to Satoshi and them. I guess not. Huh. I got like one more try left in me. <laughs> Where would I go? Hmm. I don't think the pool area will help me. It's gotta be something... Gotta be some place where I can trick them to get themselves killed. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I gotta go somewhere in the, uh, second building. Maybe the gym? Maybe the gym. I'll try running to the gym. Alright. 
Let me try heading to the gym. I gotta make some distance. Oh! Ring around the rosy. Oh shit, I just cornered the fuck out of myself. I thought I could run around the desk, but I guess I can't. Jesus. You guys are too damn strong. Ow! Also doesn't help that you can just kick my ass whenever you feel like it. supposed to do would you like to save system data yes I would all right well let's see that's definitely gonna be it for me tonight <laughs> uh, that's all the time I have for streaming tonight unfortunately so this is where I had to leave off but, you know, we've been streaming for a good, for a good couple of, uh, good couple of hours. <laughs> so, oh, what's going on? Intro. That's what's happening. Can I, can I skip it? Skip, skip intro? Uh, hello? Press some buttons. Button's not working. But buttons, hello? Okay, cool. Um, yeah. So, that's going to be it for Corpse Party Blood Drive tonight. Uh, next time, next time we come see each other on the stream again will be later today, in the noon time, morning time. Um, excuse me. Around like, uh, around like 11 Eastern. Right? Eastern time? Easter Standard Time? And if you're on the west coast of the Americas, then fucking, you know, three hours before before that, whatever the hell that is. What is that? What is that, like seven? Seven o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Early in the morning? <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's gonna be it for Blood Drive tonight. Next time, play Blood Drive. Unless something happens in the middle of my, you know... Unless something happens with my scheduling, next time we play uh, Blood Drive will be next week. At the same time, you know, what? It, what, what is it, Monday night? Monday night, yeah. Monday, my, uh, Monday night, Tuesday morning, you know, that fucky weird time where we're transitioning through the days and stuff like that, you know. But, that's gonna be it. If you watched live, thank you very much. You being here makes it more fun for me to do this. And I appreciate you very much. If you're watching the VODs, hope is entertaining. You know, I apologize that my stream schedule sucks ass. And if you're watching this on YouTube, again, I hope it's entertaining. But try and catch it live if you can, right? Catch my streams live. Uh, in the description is a link to my streams and my Twitter. If you ever feel like looking at anything that I tweet here and there. You know, <laughs> I've been lately. I've been more active on Twitter than I used to be, but still, sometimes it's kind. Of, still, sometimes it's kind of just hard to like pull up Twitter and be like, "What should I tweet today?" <laughs> Think about your tweets, plan them out, schedule them. Oh man, I don't know. Twitter gives me like some sort of anxiety or some shit. It's weird, but um, yep. There's that. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you know, leave a like. It helps out with um, with people being able to search up the channel and stuff like that. Because then YouTube would be like, oh man, people seem to really like this. Maybe we'll show more of it. So, leave a like. It definitely helps out. If you can, leave a comment. You know, ask me a question or some bullshit. I don't, I don't fucking know. Or just comment around how stupid I am at this game. 
or maybe give me some tips here and there that I can probably use. <laughs> that I can probably use not in this playthrough, but maybe in the future. Because <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, you don't you don't get to see this. You, you don't see this until it's done on Twitch, which is why you should head on over to Twitch. <laughs> but yep, yeah, you know, and there's other playthroughs I have that aren't on Twitch, like the like um the Psychonauts 2 playthrough and stuff like that. So there's some videos for you guys to watch and stuff like that. Uh, I'm rambling on as one does. But, you know, as always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Take off.